Hey everybody, we are back at the uh, Biddy Lake. <coughs> I don't know why we're here, but here we are. We're at the Biddy Lake, and uh, <coughs> my goal is to try to catch a fish. The good news is there's a fish on. It's a very beautiful fish, big fish, huge fish. Uh, it would be nice to catch a big fish like 50 pounds. I have caught 50 pounders at this lake. They don't get much bigger than that. I mean, and we just got a pumpkin seed that was not even a pound. That's amazing. So that's another beautiful fish there. I haven't caught a pumpkin seed in ages. So I have a weird feeling it's because of the size of my hook. But what we'll do, what I'm going to do here, is I'm going to cast this bad boy out. And then I'm going to let it sit there. And then I'm going to get this pole, pick that pole up. And I've got worms on there, so we're good to go there. That looks good. And then we'll take one more fishing pole. <coughs> We'll take this other fishing pole, <coughs> and uh, we've got a worm on there and a feeder bait. <coughs> then we'll set that down. And wait. So the fishing season, I noticed today when I was walking, it's feeling a little cooler out there. Uh, I did go and fish the other day outside. And I fished for a few hours. It was a big lake. But it's a big lake to me. Anything, anything to me nowadays seems big. Um, but it was a, it's a nice size lake, and I went out and I fished for about five hours. But I only caught one fish. And that's better than no fish. But today when I was walking around, I noticed it's getting a little cooler out there. It's not as hot as it was. So it might, might be, uh, might be good to go out fishing again soon. Got some on here. Uh, don't know how big it is. What? Where is it? If we catch it, we catch it. It's like twenty more feet. Oh, wow. That's huge. That's a 1.86 pound burbot. We can sell that bad boy for 10 bucks or release him for three. Or we can keep him. I don't know. Uh, I think I'd like to eat him. Maybe not. Looks kind of like a weird looking catfish. We'll get him release him for three XPs. And, uh,. Maybe swap out the hook because uh, I think that hook's a little bit too small. So this is the ultimate fishing one, and we are currently at the the uh, beautiful Betty Lake. I have no idea where it is, but uh, I'm sure there's a Betty Lake somewhere that exists. And we have a three pod rod pod here. These all rods are um, level 21 rods. So the level 21 rod for this is, uh, and you're not going to get these at Bass Pro. I mean, 
They're exclusively only available on Ultimate Fusion Simulator 1, and you will pay about $2,000 for the rod. And the reel is probably another $1,500. Um, yeah. Why people pay that much money for a, real, a rod in real life, just it just amazes me. I mean, I have... My my fishing poles are so old school. I have a lot of fishing poles, but they're all like beat down, you know. I haven't gotten to the point where I just start throwing my stuff out of the lake. Uh, there's a certain somebody I know that I'm related to that loves to throw his stuff around when he gets ticked off. It's really funny to watch. I think that's the one thing I miss the most is being able to be all crazy. And like if somebody, somebody, if you get, say, let's say you're at the beach and somebody ticks you off, you can like throw a rock at them or something. When you're a kid, you can get away with that kind of stuff. But as an adult, it's like, uh, no, I don't think that's appropriate. We don't want you doing that. That wouldn't be good. It's like I went to the dentist and said, hey, no, these teeth are old. You know, they've been around for a while. And I said, well, why don't I just pull them all out and then we can start from scratch. And just give me, like, a set of chapters. He said, oh, no, no. Oh, we can't. Even... We don't want to do that. No, 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 no. Oh, my, why? Because you want more money out of me? No, no, we want you to have a, you know, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, well, I mean, I don't know. It's weird. So everything's kind of a throwaway society. I tend to keep my stuff forever. That's probably why a lot of my stuff is just kind of falling apart. Uh, yeah. So, uh, we are at the Betty Lake, and there's somebody from China over here. It looks like he's uh, kanji writing or something. But you don't want to mess with that guy because he is like, he's a level 25, but he has zero score. I have no idea how that happened. I'm a level 23. But uh, let's look at the leaderboard. My video time's out. It's only because I have 10 minutes and you've all heard heard that before. Uh, let's see what we're doing on the, the leaderboard. So I'm currently number one still on the leaderboard. I haven't checked this in two weeks. Uh, 11,834 pounds. Next person's got 8,700. So we can go from there. We can go to the global ranking. That's like global on the, I don't know how many people, how many gazillion people fish this thing. So I'm sitting at 15 on the global scale. Um, nobody else I know right now. Um, I'm on 15. I have heard of this person on the number one spot. And I mean, they've got a shark that's 3,428 pounds. I mean, yeah. I don't know. I think some people are seriously diehard into this thing. So, we did catch some. Kind of bulked her out. Uh, had a couple other fish. I'm going to try and move real quick. Hopefully my video won't die on me. But, that's the Betty Lake, trying to fish for bigger rainbow trouts. Um, not really, not really catching a whole lot right now. I don't really care if we catch them or not. But I did want to show 